welcome back to the Runpreneur vlog and today we're going to be talking about running on consecutive days for a whole 18 months. So the Runpreneur vlog is part of the Runpreneur challenge which is our fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. So to find out more about the challenge and how to support it please check the links in the comments below and please remember if you enjoyed this vlog please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified when each and every new episode is released thank you for your support and let's get started so running on consecutive days for 18 months what have i learned okay well, that's quite a tough question um, for those of you who didn't know that the Rompano Challenge is our fundraising mission to raise one million pounds for seven phenomenal children's charities which between them support and cover the whole spectrum of issues affecting children on a global scale. Now in order to raise that money we have to attempt something fairly uh, fairly epic and that challenge is to run vlog on consecutive days a distance of one lap around the world. So to put it in perspective it is a monumental um, challenge of running on consecutive days for 4,292 days um, and uh, uh, some 42,000 kilometres in total distance so it's uh, over, just over 25,000 miles so it is a pretty epic challenge it's going to take 11 and a half years in total and that's on the basis that I'm averaging 9.2 kilometres every day so pretty pretty big target um, so I've been doing it for 18 months now so I'm, uh, I've still got another 10 years to go, long way to go. Um, so, but what have I learned? 18 months is a long, long time. I've learned that this challenge is A, not for the faint-hearted. Um, there's days where it pushes you to your, the pinnacle of your mental resilience. Days where it's, you run in all the elements, in snow, in fog, in rain, in snow, in sleet, in wind, in ice, you know, all the different types of rain that you can imagine, side rain, head facing rain, it tests you to your absolute limit on those days you really don't want to do it. But do you know what? Once you've kind of been doing it for a good amount of time, maybe a quarter of a year, so maybe 90 days, it starts to become a habit and you don't question whether you're going to do it. And that doesn't mean you particularly enjoy it or that you look forward to it, but you accept it. And I think acceptance is, is key. The other thing I've learned is you have to listen to your body. You get no rest and recovery days in this, in this journey. And when you're doing such significant volume, really, in terms of distance, 9.2 kilometers a daily average is a sizable distance. And uh, I think ultimately the challenge is to listen to your body to make sure that you look after yourself. You don't push, you can't push hard every day. Some days you just have to do really light recovery runs to keep your body ticking over. Regular sports massages have been um, pretty important, integral to keep on the uh, the running journey. And uh, pay attention to your diet and uh, try and eat as little bit healthier where possible because it's all um, fueling a, a relatively, well, significantly active lifestyle where you're doing significantly more exercise than most. So um, hydration is massively important. So all the things that can help prevent injury and I think injury prevention is a key a key word here you're doing it every day so with limited rest and recovery you're always having to try and give your body the best chance to recover without overexertion um, I've also tried to do lots of big events I've done ultra marathons marathons half marathons lots of races as part of this journey so far and I love that it keeps me keeps the excitement in this journey but um I think the other challenge is, is that it increases the risk when you're doing endurance events or long distance endurance events, endurance events and then having to run every day up to them and every day after where typically you taper it's very very difficult very very challenging so again injury preventative methods are super important lots of massage lots of stretching um, really really important and dietary being sensibly um, aware of what to eat and consume and what to drink so um pretty much it so far I mean it's been some hell, one hell of a journey so far and I know I've only just started I think I'm about 12 13 percent of the way there so a long long way to go yet but you know what I'm feeling uh, pretty pretty good 
I'm pretty excited for the journey ahead and uh, I'll keep you posted. So any questions, drop me a comment. I'll respond to everyone. Please remember that the Rumpener vlog is part of the Rumpener challenge, which is our fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. So to find out more about the challenge and how to support it, please check the links in the comments below. Um, if you enjoy this vlog, please subscribe to the channel and please also hit the notification bell so you're made aware of each and every new episode as it's released. Uh, we're trying a new thing. We're going to try and get as many subscribers to this channel as possible because if we do get it big enough where it starts generating ad revenue, uh, all of those proceeds will go to the charity as well. So uh, pretty cool cause. So thank you ever so much for your support. Stay positive, stay happy, and I'll see you tomorrow.